Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Leafy. Previously on Leafy, we gained some new powers, and we hope to put them to good use and hopefully not die. So, we gotta push these barrels out of the way. Push these barrels out of the way. Let's see where I'm at. Locked. Also locked. Gotta drop down, it looks like. Really dark in here. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. No, just just a skull. Anything in here? Doesn't seem to be. That's locked. Hello, hello, hello. Real dark in here. And there is a torch. Turn some light on. Make sure I don't spend no bear traps. Oh boy. Can use that food. Up the switch without even knowing what I'm doing. I'm assuming you're out of juice. Might need to find something to charge that up. The liquid which now emanates with a warm amber glow has undergone additional refinement of an electrical flux and is starting to show some remarkable characteristics. So essentially, yeah. The little two things is the liquid that's been refined to electrical nature. And we probably need to find a new canister. Locked. I hear some running water. It's locked too. You know, I have powers. I I feel like I should be able to just smash things open. I guess not. Was it perhaps in here? Yes, it was. Wow. This is gonna be a little a little vaguely annoying. Yep, a little vaguely annoying. Let's go. You and me, my friend. I get some of that Sunny D. Unload it off in that machine. Take a nice sip. There we go. Hey, we got power. I think. Cool. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm, switches. They do something. It's one of those phallic things. They don't often call things phallic very often, but these are a little bit... Maybe I should start running. I can activate something else to run to it in time. Well, actually, I don't know what I did. Did I open this? What did I open up? Where am I supposed to go? going there. Hi there, buddy. You seem vaguely up. Skedaddle. I don't know what you are, but you're something. Boxes, where are you? 
dying in a very slow, awkward manner. Not like this. Chair! Ah. Go on, go on, go on! Oh my god! Okay. So. Good or bad? I don't know. You know, things just end up a certain way in life. Say that. Upon experimentation with the blue concoction that I call Lephium, or Lephom, the rat's cognitive abilities have greatly improved in a short amount of time, way beyond their natural boundaries. For now, the effects seem to be temporary, but promising nonetheless. I cannot wait to replicate these results with a human subject. I'll commence treatment immediately. Mmm. Air vent kebabs. Nice and expired. Just like my sense of humor. Promising. So we need to get pump some goo into that. I already have full health. That's the exit. Means it's been postponed time and time again and is long overdue as usual. The part's not available. So here's what we gotta do. First we gotta disable that little bastard. There you go. So we need to bring some new power supply goo to the uh, thing of thing for the vent. And I know where it is. It's a bit of a long walk, though. For a long crawl. You gotta be careful you ain't winning out here, too. It didn't smack the barrel out of the way. Is that comforting? This is pretty much a straight shot, so... No! No! Go for the vent. Go for the vent. We're not gonna outrun it. That's right, you bastard. It's like, ah, Donkey Kong. Like, uh, are you from... It's throwing things at me. This is awkward. Something tells me I was supposed to go around first, grab the power supply, then come back to the vent. But you know? I mean, you can throw the power supply over that little fence over there, that's what you're really supposed to do, but still. Can't get to that damn thing, I mean, what can I do? It seems it wants to go... You know what the problem is? This leads to a dead end. And if it patrols this way... See what I'm saying? It will loop back. To me. Like every time. I think. Just, just don't turn around and assume it's not there.
I cannot tell you if it's nearby or not. I am not at liberty to say. Really, buddy? You can't run with this in your hand. You have to walk. And... Ding dong. Is that gonna be really bad or really good? This way. We did it. We're alive. And safe. Got a lithium control. Lease the steam. With the manual override. Then be upset as we have one more step to complete. That should be enough. No, it's too much steam. Right about there, it's at like half, right? That works. Pearl. Hello. Hello, switch. I can't pull. I've been here before. I guess I activated something so I can open another door that was around here. No. Okay, that one elevator is still locked down, but this is open now. In a cutscene. Damn it! Hey, when I get jumped from behind, you want like hearing or nosing anything. We want to be a bastard. You want my canned beans? My canned coffee? Do you want to completely blind me? This is gonna be kind of like this. Day one, still trapped. Day 55. Hope is still here, but I'm still trapped. So intent, she was on cutting off the child's limbs. She didn't notice her victim was long dead. She pierced what remained of the body with a blade that was crudely attached to her wrist. Replacing what was once her soft and caring hand. A dirty sack on her head covered her face but could not mask her anger. What a sight she was to behold standing among her young victims. Her torn clothes drenched in blood. Those soft skulls cracking open under the weight of her boots as she walked towards me. A sound well known to us both. A real monster. Yet she is better off a monster than a coward like me. It's been 32 years since that faithful man and I haven't left her side ever since. I have a feeling that's describing what we're dealing with right now. Which I assume is going to be one of those sackhead monsters from Resident Evil. Later ones, anyway. Mmm. Mmm, blue goo. See everything. My precious room is gone. It's been taken from me. I knew every single stone by name, and now all of my beloved friends are gone. Today I will once again be the first. 
Is this another test, I wonder? I suspect the guards know, but they never speak. Their footsteps tell their stories, but I need more practice. They haven't noticed yet, but I have. Something feels different in this cell. We've been transferred, no doubt, but there's something else, too. There is some blue goo down there. That's weird. Something blew off the candle. Could just been the draft from the outside. Don't damn barrel my path. Hopefully this is not a trap down here. It looks awfully tempting like one. beans. Whoops, I ate the wrong one. Ate one of my health pots instead. Now we have full, full blue goo mode. Note. One day the boon came to me at last. A fresh bed with white clean sheets. I felt so light almost of our flying. At last, my transformation is complete. Then I'll put something back up in the main room. Am I supposed to break this open? Probably not, because it seems like it. There's so many barrels! The smell of burning incense made my blood run cold. I could hear two or three men laughing and cursing. I worried less about the first two, but Jacob! I had seen him hunting prey, ripping off limbs with his bare hands, as if he was drawing pleasure from it. I rocked around the house, following the sound from their footsteps. Peeking over the edge of the kitchen window, I thought maybe I could trick them somehow. Perhaps make some noise and lead them to the front door so she could jump for the window escape. But that was too late. <laughs> well, I could see. Really? The boulder didn't work, but the boxes did? Really? The boxes are made out like Super Boxonium? Oh, the, the, the rock wouldn't work. Oh well. It's just a video game. Green mushroom bad. Ooh, must be good. Hello. We've been cast into the eternal darkness, for it is our fate to carry this burden. Shadows grow in our finite minds, haunted by our guilt, and yet we chant with heavy breaths. The fabric of life being stretched out fore and wide from this place. The weaving of its threads piercing my ears right before they break into a thousand stars. This is a mockery of the gods. Weird. A lot of fire, huh? I haven't seen it in a while as a save point. 
She sat on her favorite chair as one of the men kept twisting her arm, almost as if he was enjoying her screams, and it looked like he wanted more. Jacob pushed her head down firmly on the table and ordered the third man to pull out the last of the boxes of incense. I couldn't really tell if they used it for their ritual or just to mask their own stench. He grabbed her hair and pulled her head back up and said, almost whispering, It's time. I could see that she tried hard to hold it in, but the awful smell was the final drop. Nausea took over her body and fluid sprung out of her mouth and nose. With each cough, she struggled for air, and then finally he violently smashed her face into the table. Twice. No human being should be capable of committing such an atrocious act, yet that was exactly what I had witnessed. Any otherworldly scream escaped her crimson lips while he was holding the back of her neck like a captured animal. Seems to go a little bit beyond weird sciencey stuff. Damn ruins, I keep going back, how many traps I place. King draws on this place, so I wouldn't want to be. The physics could use a little work in this game, I will say that. Maybe I gotta light up something on fire and then drag it to the Fingma thing. That. Burning barrel. Good. Burn nature. No one likes you. Leave the barrel in there. Ow. Holding a burning barrel apparently hurts. A lot. And also exploding barrels under myself also hurts. A lot. It's just kind of hurt in general, including coals. You know, I'm alright with this. I'm alright. I'm very impatient. Okay of this. Everything's just hurting me nowadays. Oh, it's because I ran out of power. This looks like the progressive route. So let's check the ladder instead. And it's something interesting actually. Be catching me with that, Mr. Tom Cruise. You won't be riddling my riddle with your the jangles. Just, just push it all out of the way. He gave us ink and paper to record his work. How kind of him. I kept smiling every day to show my devotion. That's all he desired from us, but no one understood. I knew all along. In the end, he only wanted us cured. Mmm, bread. Mmm, I'm a witch now. Oh, oh show you this. I'll never use that. Ah! This is familiar. My familiar, I've been here before. We've, uh... We've, uh, returned to the beginning. There's a little bit of a difference here, though. This is open now. I'm gonna drink some of my health pots. Just in case. Well, that was easier said than done. Laboratory. Locked. Mm. Been unlocked this. We are essentially in the Minotaur's Labyrinth right now. It's just a series of loops, and there is the Minotaur. 
Forward or back? Left or right? Keep going. Now where? Now where? It's locked. It's gonna be like a switch or something I can pull from a distance, right? Don't stop, it's eating me. Ah. I dropped quite a few health pots. It's not good. Not good at all. Limbs. A lot of bones. Hopefully it's not trying to pick an issue with me. Let this be my testimony before my final judgment. My broken body long gone left behind like a withered shadow. My name meaning nothing like all the others in this cherished chorus of death. Their cries keep impaling my mind, but the end draws near. Give me one last sip. No one will know. Shh, listening. Crunchy to crunch. The disfigured man carried me all the way down here and locked me up inside that filthy old cell. Was I supposed to wait for someone? I should have left the island when I had the chance. We're boned. Oh god! Get away from me! Hello? Evil? Are you... That's locked. This one isn't. We're still in the labyrinth, essentially. Like, it's not even a mines anymore, it's just... Ancient ruins. That's a dead end. If they dig too deep and reach the underworld or something... Hmm. Is that really good or really bad? Yeah, I like elf pots. No one down there. You want to definitely use a ladder. The ladder's a little weird because I, <laughs> ah! I have to hold down to go down, no matter what direction I'm facing. Ah, great. Melody keeps ringing in my ears long after the needle comes to an end, as if my mind first for more. I know now how this will end. But first, I'll need to have a word with everyone. They are so eager to hear my story. Mmm. Trap. Mmm. That blue goo. More blue goo. This person had a good lack of head on their shoulders. Oh. 
break this pot, because this is getting annoying. That, that wasn't good, was it? <laughs> 